This comes as the current president is in North Carolina today, putting an emphasis on the economy. And this is a live look at President Biden addressing soldiers at North Carolina's Fort Liberty. The indictment against Donald Trump was unsealed in the middle of President Biden's speech today, and he was asked about his former political rival's new charges. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Rocky Mount, where Biden was earlier today. Michael, Biden seemed to dodge this entire notion. Right. He didn't really address this directly. When reporters asked him about it, he said he has not and will not talk to Attorney General Merrick Garland and said he did not have any additional comment beyond that. Instead, he spent the entire time he was here at Nash Community College really focused on economic recovery since the pandemic. He toured the college here, meeting with some of the students who are part of a program, a training program that's funded by the federal government to help them get jobs in the clean energy sector. President Biden focused on the progress the country has made with the unemployment rate coming back down to historic lows. He also mentioned the announcement by the chip manufacturing company Wolfspeed last year that they're investing $5 billion in their new plant in Chatham County, the largest economic development deal in state history. As he seeks re-election, the president is making the case that these investments in American manufacturing will transform communities like Rocky Mount for years to come. But he's also speaking to voters who remain concerned about inflation and his handling of it. We've made a lot of progress. Now we've got to keep it going. We just have to remember who we are. For God's sake, we're the United States of America. This is not hyperbole. There's never been a thing we've set our mind to as a country. Never been a single major initiative we set our mind to as a country. And we've, and we've worked together. We haven't accomplished it. The president also highlighted about $5 billion invested in road, bridge, and broadband projects in North Carolina through the bipartisan infrastructure law. And if it, this visit comes as several leading Republican candidates are all coming to Greensboro these next couple of days, coming up at five more on how the GOP is reacting to the president's visit here. Live in Rocky Mount, Michael Hyland, Queen City News.